Once you've got your website ready to go, you'll want to make sure it's running with your own custom domain name, such as the OwnerRes hosted website, shenrent.com. The first step in going live is buying a domain name. If you don't have an account anywhere yet, we recommend namecheap.com. When you're ready to go live with your website, you'll link up your own domain name to the OwnerRes servers, and from then on, the hosted website will live at your domain, and typing in that domain will take you directly to your OwnerRes hosted website. We have three specific videos for setting your DNS. Setting DNS records for GoDaddy, setting DNS records for Google Domains, and this video, setting DNS records for Namecheap. Once you've purchased your domain name, you're ready to go live with your website. Go to Settings, My Websites, and click on Hosted Website. If you've already started setting up your website, you'll see it here. If you haven't set it up yet, you'll want to watch our Direct Bookings Hosted Website video. Your website will currently be using the OwnerRes supplied test URL location instead of your own domain name. You'll need to change this to your custom domain name. Click the Pencil Change Settings button to make changes. In the Hosting slash Domain Live Location field, enter your domain. If you'd like to redirect to a non-www domain name, select Redirect to Apex. If you'd like to use a subdomain name such as bookings.yoursite.com, Select Don't Handle www no redirect. The other options and settings will already be populated from previously setting up your hosted website. Click Save and you will see a summary of your changes. HTTPS is currently disabled. This will be enabled as soon as the DNS is configured. You can check the DNS by clicking the Check DNS button. This shows that the DNS is not correctly configured. This is a useful tool to ensure that you set the DNS correctly. Go back to Change Settings and click on the Hosted Websites Going Live link. This will take you to a page that gives you the info that you'll need to input into your domain registrar. You'll need to change the A name and C name records in Namecheap. You'll do this by copying information from this page into your account at Namecheap. Copy this first number, then head over to your Namecheap dashboard. Here we see our domain name that we set in OwnerRes. To configure the DNS, go to Manage, then click on Advanced DNS. Click Add a New Record. Select A record from the drop-down menu, enter the at symbol in the host text box, and paste the first set of numbers here. Click the check mark when you are done. Head back to OwnerRes and copy the second set of numbers. Head back to Namecheap, click Add a New Record, select A record from the drop-down menu, enter the at symbol in the host text box, and paste the second set of numbers here. Click the check mark when you are done. Now head back to OwnerRes again and copy the third set of numbers. Once again, head back to Namecheap, click Add a New Record, select A Record from the drop-down menu, enter the at symbol in the host text box, and paste the third set of numbers here. Click the check mark when you are done. Click Add a New Record, but this time select C Name Record from the drop-down menu. Enter www in the host text box, and enter hosted.ownerres.com here. Then click the check mark to save. Now that you've set the records correctly in Namecheap, head back over to Ownerres. Go to your hosted website settings. Select your website. Now we see that the HTTPS is enabled and click Check DNS. You'll see that the DNS is configured correctly. When you configure your DNS, it usually propagates within a few hours, but occasionally it can take up to 48 hours. Your website will be live after this propagation period. You can check it by clicking on the live link, which is your domain's URL. When you are ready to continue on to the next step in the setup checklist, be sure to watch our setup checklist testing video. Thanks for choosing OwnerRes.